coming to you today on Thursday, December 20th with a mood bang for my holiday Christmas party. Mood bang. I don't know if you can see it or not. You got a bad glare. I'm here at work. As you can tell, I'm getting ready to eat. I have me some fried chicken, some lumpy, a piece of ham, some collard greens, we shall see. But right now I'm going to taste me some um, New England clam chowder soup. Let's see, I only got a little bit. Let me see it. It tastes pretty good, like I need some pepper. It tastes fine. I definitely don't need any salt because it's bacon in this. But the person in me, I want some salt. But I'm not gonna mess with it. It tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna eat all these potatoes. All because I have some mashed potatoes and some mac and cheese on my plate already. But anyway. How's everybody doing? They're ready for the holidays or whatever it is that you celebrate. Finish your shopping. You got your children everything they asked for. And when it's a whole lot of debt. I remember growing up asking for this and asking for that. I got one or two things that I even had a Santa Claus because you're supposed to bring me everything that I asked for. <clears throat> but anyway, um, we got a couple more days, five days to be exact. It's the 20th, December 20th. We have five days before Christmas. Got to remember, Christmas isn't about gifts and presents and eating. It's about the birth of Jesus. And how many people are still teaching our children what's the real meaning of Christmas? Everybody doesn't have a house. Santa Claus cannot get down a chimney if you live in an apartment. You know, I when I was younger, did teach my children or would say there was a Santa Claus, but by the time they got to be like nine, 10, 11 years old, I started telling them, there's no Santa Claus. I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm the one who's getting up every day, punching a clock to make sure that you have for Christmas, not Santa Claus. Well, how do you think I know I did when I was younger. How do you think the Santa Claus went all the way around the world in one night? But when you're young like that, you really don't understand all the way around the world. But as you get older, you're like, that's impossible. Why nobody can get around and fly around and go to all these houses in one night. Then you get older, and your parents will start sneaking gifts and stuff in the house, trying to hide them. You go to sleep the night before on Christmas Eve, and you um, won't sleep too hard and wake up in the middle of the night and go see what they're doing, catch them wrapping gifts and putting bicycles and stuff together. I remember that. <laughs> I remember getting a, um, a Barbie camper and watching my mom and dad mess with it, put the stickers on it, whatever they were doing. I was like, oh, so that's how my Christmas gifts got here. My parents did it. They were Santa Claus. <laughs> so after that, I knew there was no Santa Claus. And they didn't have to tell me some of the neighborhood kids already had told me as well, there ain't no Santa Claus. I'm like, yes it is. 
had to find out that there was no Santa Claus through some friends or neighborhood kids. However you want to put it. Well, so far, everything's tasting pretty good. I know you don't want to mac and cheese. I need to be warmed up a little bit, but it'll be all right. Because I'm not going to eat all of it anyway. Because somebody made some mashed potatoes. They had looked very interesting. I don't know what they put in it. Like some parsley or basil or something. Because they weren't white. They were a little like yellow, like a lot of butter or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's pretty good. Well, I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute. 